service, doing their thing, and uh, about ready to go. What do you think? Good to go? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Well, it was a short stay, but it was a sweet stay. Here in beautiful Grand Marais. Clear on the right, and we are clear over here on the left. Headed back to good old Chicagoland. Definitely an airport that I plan on coming back to. Talked with the pilot of the float plane. He said that Grand Marais, the town, is about uh, 10 minutes, he said, south of here, is a pretty awesome place. Great people, great food, great times, so definitely an airport we'll have to visit when we have more time and actually go down to the town. Primary traffic, King Air 567, Golf Juliet, back taxi, runway 28, Grand Marais. All right, clear the left, and we are clear over here on the right. Grand Marais traffic, King Air 567, Golf Juliet, departing runway 28. It'll be a left turn out to the south, Grand Marais. All right, clear on the right, and we are clear on the left. All good? good. And the thing that you want to remember with this, when you start flying over here as the captain, flight, is you don't just throw the throttle forward like you would in the piston aircraft. You have to walk it forward nice and easy, and you want to line them right up on the tens, all right? The whole time, you need to maintain directional control in the center of the runway, all right? So our call-outs are going to be heading check, so we say check, and you confirm check. We're on the right runway, 2-8. So you say check. check. And then you're going to call out the speed 80. Good. And then you're going to say VMC. VMC. At 5 above VMC, you're going to say rotate. We're going to rotate. When we get positive rate, you're going to call positive rate, and I'm going to say gear up. So it's going to sound like this. Adding checks, check. And then I'm going to put the power forward and set it, and I'm going to say thrust set, and you say set. And then you're going to say 80 knots, VMC, rotate. And then you're going to say positive rate. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and set the checklist down, because in case of an emergency, let's say that I had a heart attack and I passed out, you need to take flight controls, right? Okay. All right, so heading checks. Check. All right, runway is clear. Here comes the power. See how I'm walking them up nice and easy. Nothing dramatic. Never cramming them forward. And feel along with the rudder pedals, how I'm putting in those rudder controls to keep the aircraft going right down the center of the runway. It doesn't just happen on its own. You actually have to put those inputs in. All right, and then we ease it all the way up until our torque is right at 10. Now we say thrust set. Right. Airspeed's alive. 80. BMC. Rotate. Put it to the right. Gear up. Gear up. Coming up on a safe altitude. We'll go ahead and bring the props back. We should see our prop RPM go back down to about 19. That's what we want. Go ahead and get rid of the landing and taxi lights. Disarm the auto feather, put the prop sink on, and then I'll call for the climb checklist. There's the Devil Track Lake off our left side. That's where the seaplane base is actually located. If you look off there to the left at that clearing that's between the big airport that we just took off from 
and the lake, that's where the airport used to be. But they've moved it from there, just a few miles north, so they could have a lot bigger airstrip. And as you can see, it is a beautiful airport here. Highly recommend. Alright, climb checklist. Climb checklist. Climb power. Set. Power power sun age. Think your phaser is on. Auto, auto feather. Off. Engine in two minutes. Check. Step inside. Set. Alarm checklist lead. Roger. Look at that. Grand Marais. What a beautiful place. Devil's Track Lake. Any of you uh, float plane pilots landed here before? Let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments below if you think it's a great uh, lake to land on and if there's anything, maybe a neat restaurant or cool place to hang out there. It'd be really neat. I'd like to see the town if I could. It must be pretty small. It doesn't stand out very easily. Oh, okay, I see it. It's right along the lake here. So let me just bank over there. Do a quick fly over that. Stationed right along the northern edge of Lake Superior. In beautiful northern Minnesota. What beautiful countryside. What do you think, Dwight? Yeah, the are beautiful. Pretty amazing out here, isn't it? Sure. A little bit different looking than Chicago, right? Yeah. Chicago has its own beauty, though, so I'm not knocking it. It's just a different beauty. And here is a high elevation. Yes. They've got some nice little hills going. Those foothills go up, and then they go all the way up into Canada. There's Grand Marais down there, just off of our left wing. You can see the harbor with a few boats parked there. The float plane pilot that I was talking to, he said that it's a really cool city. Definitely worth going downtown and staying. So one of these times we'll have to fly up, get a hotel or a lodge here for a night or two and enjoy some of what Grand Marais has to offer if anybody has any suggestions on good lodges or hotels in Grand Marais let me know we might plan a flight up here come up here in the evening hang out for a while enjoy some of this beautiful creation up here and then head home well, there you have it, folks. Grand Marais in all of its glory. The town of Grand Marais. Then you've got Devil's Track Lake. Then just beyond that, you have the Grand Marais Airport, which is beautiful. Great facility. Super nice people. Talk to Eric there, who works there. And, uh, very hospitable and best of all no landing fees for those people that fly turbine aircraft you gotta avoid those airports that try to slam us with a big heavy landing fee because we are not rich people we're just people trying to get training and work our jobs right Dwight? alright we'll go ahead and uh, activate Ironwood start right. heading towards Ironwood here I'll go ahead and put the Autopilot on and nav it up. We'll see if we can contact Minneapolis Center. Minneapolis, King Air 567, Golf Juliet. November 567, Golf Juliet, go ahead. At King Air 567, Golf Juliet. Looking to pick up our IFR to 05 Charlie, just off of Charlie Kilo Charlie. November 567, Golf Juliet, Roger, and uh, cross the code of 3644. 3644, King Air 57, Golf Juliet. 
November 567 Gulf Shore, you're clear to the uh, 05 Charlie Airport to be addressed Ironwood, then as file, to maintain flight level 190. I cleared to 05 Charlie via Ironwood, then as file, commenting 190 for King Air 567, Gulf Juliet. Number 567, Gulf Juliet, thank you. Radar contact uh, 13 miles south of Cook County, stay altitude. 8,600, climbing flight level 190, King Air 567, Gulf Juliet. Buckstep 524, climb and maintain flight level 220. All right, we're cleared to Ironwood, which we're going direct to right now, as filed. So we have that file planned route in there, and we are good to go. What do you think of the Grand Maria Airport? Uh, it's beautiful, but uh, it's very small. Yeah, I know, right? It is not a very big area. Yeah. Very small. Small airport, small town. Beautiful location. I climb it through 10,000. We always want to remind ourselves to look, make sure that our pressurization is working, that our cabin is climbing properly, and that we've selected the proper altitude. So we're coming up to flight level 190. We want to get that 190 set in there, right? Yes. So that matches. Cool. All right. And Link just brought us up our Coca-Cola. We'll save that for a little bit later down the road for Coca-Cola hour. Get some caffeine in our system. We got up at 3.30 this morning. I did uh, to pick these guys up. Pick them up about, uh, what, 4, 4.15 or so. Then got to the airport. We were wheels up by 5. We landed in Grand Marie uh, before 8 o'clock in the morning. Now we're headed back, hoping to get back to D05 Charlie Griffith Merrillville before 11, because I have a meeting at noon that I need to be in. So there you go. Living the dream, but staying busy doing it. Dwight has a few hours in the King Air E90, so he's observing me flying it as the captain, and he's doing the FO duties. And then in a few more hours, he'll switch from being an FO over to the captain's side, where he will control the, the climbs, the descents, set up the approaches, and configure the aircraft properly. So we're just kind of going over all of that, making sure that you have all your limitations down, all your call-outs good, checklist procedures properly done. And then he will be heading back to China here in the next few weeks. Yes. You excited about that? Yes. Ready to go home, right? Sure. Go eat your own uh, native food and sleep in your own bed, right? Yes. There's nothing like it. These guys don't have it easy coming over and spending over a year of their life away from their home country. Everybody loves their own country, you know? So no matter how awesome it is in the U.S., I'm sure you miss your family and everything else, right? Yes. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get back to China? Eat a, bar eat a barbecue. Eat barbecue. Nice. Well, you can get barbecue right here in the U.S. Maybe oh. some uh, good Texas barbecue. Uh, I I kind. Of it's not the same. Yeah. Uh, if we know, if we know the tasty. <laughs> it's not the same kind of tasty. So Dwight, how did you pick your name, Dwight, when you came to the U.S.? How did you pick it? Oh, uh, I have a. Uh, Oh, I have an English, English teacher. Uh, her name is Turner. Yeah? She comes from Texas. Okay. So okay, she gave me this name. Dwight, does she like watching The Office? Office? Yeah. Do you know the TV show The Office? I don't know. You have to watch The Office before you go back to China. It's called The Office. It is one of America's most amazing TV shows. And one of the characters in the TV show, his name is Dwight. Oh. Dwight is assistant to the regional manager. He's a funny guy. Oh. He's a little bit crazy, but he's super funny. So maybe you're a little bit crazy, but funny. Are you funny? I do think. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> well, you watch The Office, and then let me know what you think of Dwight. Okay. okay. That's your that's your homework, all right? Hey, okay. But, <laughs> but I know a uh, NBA player. Dwight Howard. Oh, that's what you like. You like the NBA player Dwight Howard. Yeah. Well, I like 
the assistant to the regional manager, Dwight Schrute. Bend, Bravo, yeah. Juliet, Bravo, Not Dwight Howard. Hi, right, you can start to make out the shoreline of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. On the south side of Lake Superior, we have 3,000 feet to go to our cruising altitude of flight level 190. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to break the uh, the rule. The general rule is you don't want to drink a soda or have a water before you are within an hour of your airport, your destination airport. But we have a restroom on board. I already used the restroom this morning. I had a, a good water this morning and some Doritos for breakfast. Breakfast of champions, of course. So I'm going to enjoy this good original taste Coca-Cola. Give me a little bit of a caffeine boost. Get me through the rest of the flight. And I am gripping it firmly so as to not allow spillage around the flight deck. I know some of you guys were concerned about that before. So unless we get some crazy clear air turbulence, everything should be fine. Coca-Cola just doesn't say, taste the same to me. Not on the ice. I like it on ice. But it's okay out of the can, but ugh, it's not nearly as good as on ice. So while you've been in the U.S., have you been able to go watch a Bolt game? Yes, I, I have been there. Yeah, was it amazing? Yes, Bolt vs. Rockies. Yeah, did the Bulls win? No, oh, they lost. Yeah, they lost. Oh, so sad. Oh well. Well, then you have to go again and watch them win. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday when you're an airline captain flying in from China, you can overnight in Chicago and watch another Bulls game. Yeah, sure. Good memory. November 3rd, and Mike Charlie thinks I've got the SR cancellation. All right, there is uh, flight level 180, so we got to dial this down to 2 9 or 9 or 2s. 2 9 or 9 or 2s, set left. And I see it set over there on the right. And yes. then we'll continue our climb up to flight level 190. So we have 1,000 to go. All right, we have 100 to go to flight level 190. We'll just start pitching the nose down really nice and gentle. Nothing dramatic. There's flight level 190. We'll capture the altitude. And we can go ahead and run the uh, cruise checklist now. Good power. It is that. Engine is two minutes. Check. Auxiliary fuel quantity. It is empty. Auxiliary fuel transfer storage. They are off. Good checklist complete. Roger. Thank you, Dwight. Perfect. Much appreciated. So this morning, we flew up to the... I don't know if this camera will get it better. This morning we flew up all the way up here to the northern tip, the northeast tip of Minnesota and went to the oh, Grand Marais oh, Airport. Now we're headed southbound, just north of the south shore of Lake Superior, north of the Ironwood VOR. Then we'll continue down to Rhinelander past Oshkosh to the Badger VOR, Burtman intersection, Rainer, and then direct to 05 Charlie. Usually somewhere in here they'll give us radar vectors out over Lake Michigan and back around probably for the RNAV 26 into Griffith. But we'll see how that goes. Got to talk to the float plane pilot that works some of the charter flights out of there real briefly. Seems like a really nice guy and seems like he really enjoys what he does. That's what it's all about. Not just about the money, although money is helpful, you gotta have enough to live, right? But it's also about uh, whether you love your job or not, so some of you individuals out there that you're thinking about making a career of aviation, I'd five, six, seven, highly go recommend it. Flight amendment to the routing for military airspace advisor, ready to copy. Thanking Air 567 Golf Julia is ready to copy. 567 Golf Juliet, you're clear, direct to BIPID, it's Bravo, India, Papa, India, Delta, then direct to Bravo, Romeo, Tango, Mike, 
November, the rest of the route's unchanged. Maintain flight level 1, nine or zero. I direct to beep it, then direct Burtman. Rest of the route is unchanged for King Air 567, Golf Juliet. Number 567, Golf Juliet, Rest of Got a slight amendment to our route. We're direct to beep it now, then to Burtman, and the rest of the route is unchanged because of military airspace. And sometimes that happens. They'll give you your filed route, and then uh, due to an, an active military uh, MOA coming open, which looks like it's the Volk East MOA going active. There, I can show it to you. If I can get it pulled up. This one right here. Uh, November 4th, this this camera. Contact, uh, you can see this MOA here, here going active, and our route took us slightly through it before, but November now, by putting in the new fix, it takes us right to the edge of it. 4, so we should November be 4, 4, whiskey, that's a good around that MOA. Like I was saying, if uh, there's somebody out there that's watching and has always perhaps dreamed of flying or is considering a career in aviation, I'd highly recommend considering it. Some people think that when you want a career in aviation that the only route is to join the military and then get your ratings that way and then go on to the airline, but there's so many different options. In fact, more people are going to the airlines via the civilian route than the military route. And then on top of that, you don't have to just go to the airlines. Just for instance, uh, the job I'm doing now, which I love to do, flying the King Air, is a great job. Also, I fly corporate jets out of Midway for an amazing company that treats me great and pays me well. Awesome schedule and good quality of life. Very family-friendly company. And then uh, there's Number also four, five, nine, Charlie, Minneapolis, jobs Queen, like the two, individual that I was just talking to, flying the station air on floats in November 9 in Lima, Charlie, MM at two, when up ready, in uh, northern Minnesota area. out to the different islands. And there's a whole myriad of other aviation-related jobs out there, whether or not you're flying corporate or you're flying for an airline, which I did that for a few years and enjoyed it, had a good time with it. November 459, Ended up getting an opportunity that was a better fit for me. But each job's different, you know, it depends on your personality, your different desires, your different what's important in your life. And there's no one job that's the perfect fit for everybody. Some people, they do better in the airlines and they wouldn't give it up for anything. Some people, they are lifetime flight instructors and they, they have a passion for it and enjoy it immensely. Other people, they love flying the corporate, couldn't do anything else but that. And uh, then there's guys that fly the float planes that enjoy it so much. And then there's the whole rotorcraft world, flying helicopters, whether that's air ambulance or flying scenic tours in the Grand Canyon or flight instructing. There's a lot of different options in this field of aviation to choose from. And it's a, it's a great community. We went to Oshkosh last week, and one thing that I said and I've heard other people say and I wholeheartedly agree with, it's not just about the planes, it's about the people, it's about the passion. It's a, it's a really unique community, the aviation world. And most people, because aviation is, both parts of aviation are very seniority based, it's not so much let's tear somebody down to, to get myself up higher on the ladder rung. It's let's push the guy uh, ahead of me up so that I can continue uh, climbing in my aviation career. And I just like that whole mentality. A lot of aviators seem to have that kind of spirit and uh, just a really team effort. Enjoy sharing their passion with other people and they enjoy other people advancing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back off our right wing. We have the beautiful city of Chicago. Currently, we are headed into 05 Charlie Griffith, Merrillville, direct to Regmo. Planning to do the procedure turn there at Regmo for the RNAV 26, which has a final approach course of 263. 
Runway length of 3,779 feet. Touchdown zone of 632 with approach elevation of 634. Cross Regimo, header above 2,400. JSOL at 17. And our MDA coming in here is 1,160 with a mile visibility. If we have to do the mist, it'll be a climb being left turn to 2,400 direct to Regimo and hold. Sound good, Dwight? Yeah, look cool. Good. And we're looking, Zero Whiskey. Zero Whiskey, Roger, reduce speed to 160 knots to run. Okay, 160 to run. So we didn't see any notice that should be a problem for us number as far as threats. Uh, number one, we've got training going on. So we got to remember first and foremost that training comes secondary to flying the airplane. That comes first and foremost. Because if we don't fly the airplane safely, then we definitely aren't going to have a good ending to our training lesson. Secondly, it is our home airport, so a lot of times we can have that complacency and think, oh, you know what, I'm not going to have any issues, it's my home airport. You know, I fly in here all the time. So, we'll just stay alert, stay focused, and speak up if either of us see an issue or a problem. The thing that I want you to focus on is making sure to watch my power settings and when I configure the aircraft. Because in a few hours, you'll be over here in the captain's seat, and you're going to need to know when to put set the power, when to request for the flaps down, when to call for the gear, when to call for the checklist. That's going to be your responsibility, okay? Okay. Cool. 2055, good day, Southjet 731. Now we're to go back, traffic 12 o'clock, two miles from here. When we get a break in the action, we'll let them know that we're in procedure turn in. Go ahead and do approach flaps. King Air 5 Golf Julia, procedure turn inbound, RNAV runway 26 Griffith. Alright, there's two calling at once. Number is Project 7 Golf Julia, to your three miles from Ridgemont, clear to RNAV runway 26 approach Griffith. We have the RNAV 26 into Griffith, King Air 5 7 Golf Julia. Alright, we're clear of the approach. So, a good way to stay ahead of the airplane is to get your next frequency in. You know the next frequency is going to be Griffith, right? Yes. Alright, so we're cleared for the approach. So, after Regmo. 567 Golf Julia, report IFR cancellation of this frequency in the air on the ground with flight service. Change to advisory is approved. I will plan to cancel with you. Change to advisory is approved. King Air 5 Golf Julia. Double Blizzard 477, flighting 080, climb maintain 15000. Heading uh, 080, leaving 5,000 for 15,000, Trailblazer 477. Trailblazer 477, proceed direct to Lukey, Connect Chicago Center, 125. Then we'll go ahead and arm the approach. Direct Lukey and 2035, Trailblazer 477. Now, when this comes in, it should capture the glide slope and head down. If it doesn't, then we just hit the uh, pitch and start heading down on the glide path. Advisory only. 386, level 3000, heading to uh, 110. Delta 2337, descend and maintain 5,000. 5,000, Delta 2337. Port of 386, got a departure for the contact, climb and maintain 5,000. Climb 5,000, Port of 386. Chicago approach, number 445, Echo Julia, 5,000 with Victor. Number 445, Echo Julia, Chicago approach, expect Dallas approach, runway 831 center. 31 center, expect 5, Echo Julia. And approach 5 by 3, Quebec, Fox Strike, uniform, descending out of 8 for 6 at Haley. Number 503, Quebec, Fox Shot, Chicago Approach, Victor's current, Spectre House Approach, runway 31 Center. ILS 31 Center, 3 Quebec, Fox Shot, grab Victor. Alright, it grabbed the glide slope, Approach it's captured, and it's starting down. Mm -hmm. 477. go ahead. I'll go 5. Okay, did you need a speed for us? That's 265, maintain 210 knots or greater. 210 or better. Being here, 57 goes, so yeah, we'd like to cancel IFR. Number 567 Golf Juliet, IFR cancellation is received, squawk DFR, change the approved, have a good day. Thanks for that, I'm King Air 57 Golf Juliet. And Griffin traffic, King Air 57 Golf Juliet, it's breaking off R and F, runway 26. Going to the left downwind for runway 8, Griffin. Autopilot's off. Tank key traffic, nine eight five three Lima. And we'll join the left downwind for runway two six. So circling minimums are twelve hundred. Five hundred. Tanky traffic, Scott Port zero seven two, left downwind now for runway four, Kinky. And then we'll plan to put full flaps in 
on uh, final. Griffin traffic, Cessna 480, uniform, turning down one runway 8, Griffin traffic. Let them know that we're base, runway 8, Griffin. Griffin traffic, KR 567, go to red, left base, runway 8, Griffin. Finals clear. Clear. Good traffic, Wally. Two one to the Charlie. Left crossing, Joy. Short final three in the green. Traffic one. Oh, Good traffic. Here, five six seven. Go to eight. Short final, Joy eight. Traffic. Stop, Joy. High one mile. Good traffic, Wally. Two one to the Charlie. Left crossing, Joy. Short final three in the green. Number three on Charlie. Good. Good traffic, Wally. Four three eight. Sierra Lima is clear. Runway zero eight. My four. Thank you. Confirm, three in the green. Very quick. Little bit of a left uh, crosswind here. A little bit of left wing down, a little bit of right rudder pedal. Griffith traffic, Cessna 480, uniform turning base, runway 8, Griffith traffic. Coming up on 60, bringing the reversers down. Now we can start to bring the brakes in, nice and gentle. 4A, sir, uniform, you guys touch and go. The important thing is, especially in bigger airplanes, don't go yanking into a turn or anything. Don't be rushed. Nice and slow. Doesn't matter if there's a lot of traffic. Once you have the runway, it's your runway. Traffic, 7 o'clock. Hi, one mile. Good traffic, we'll be two ones with the Charlie to pilot the pattern to the west. Griffin. Alright, landing checklist please. Griffin traffic, KR 567, go to the aid. Clear, we'll have eight. Griffin. Landing under taxi light. Uh, landing Griffin. lights are off taxi zone. Eyes to protection. It Griffin. is. Off. Electrical load. Check. Trim. Set. Flaps. Up. Up. Not until it's updated. Alright, Dwight. Assistant to the regional manager. Loud and clear. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and run the after, uh, or the shutdown checklist. Parking brake. Traffic for everybody's information. There's a deer at the east end of the taxiway. Parking brake. Oh yeah, you can see it down there. Parking brake is set. Vote. Say again. Vote. Inverter is off. Avoidix. Off. Lights to reach. Say again. Lights to reach. Light switch is off. Auto thread to reach. It is off. Condition levers cut off. Master, master cockpit off. Better and the generator three off. Control lock, and it's gonna be going back out. So we don't need to do that. And that is how fun it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed the flight. Good job. Down from Grand Marais. That was yeah. fun for me, anyway. What do you think, Dwight? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, eh? All right. We'll see you.